thanks for checking out another clip on the web show, this time featuring Gold Coast local Nikki Howard. It's always great to see uh, young Gold Coasters out there starting their own company, chasing down their dreams, and uh, it was cool to catch up with Nikki for a quick coffee on the Gold Coast before the working day started. To find out a little info about how she got it all going, there's a website, and here is Nikki. Right, Nikki Howard, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Now, I love Gold Coast stories, and you're a bit of a, a local girl, aren't you? Yes, born and bred here. So tell us about the company that you're doing. I was reading about it online a little bit, but it's uh, PR and, and what else? It's basically PR and event management, and I started the company about two and a half years ago, and I was living in Melbourne for a few years and Sydney for a few years before that, and then decided that home is where the heart is, and it was time to start the business here, and there was really a niche market for a PR firm. And that was it. Came back and really wanted to do one pretty much on lifestyle and sport. And it's just flourished from that. So what was like the thought process behind it? I mean, you grew up here, went to school, and then what sort of made you think that would be the ideal thing for me? Well, went to school, went to uni, did the whole PR marketing thing, and then went travelling to South America and everywhere. Oh. Came back, um, actually after having everything stolen, so I had to come back to Australia. The week later, didn't know where I was living, so I applied for a job in Melbourne that was out of my league, went down for a few interviews, got it. Stayed there for a few years, then was taken to Sydney for another job. And then I was actually on an amazing salary with nothing to do. <laughs> so I got bored very quick. There's only so many right. breakfasts and lunches you can do. And then I actually went for a job interview with a record label to do their PR and um, got the job and it was a major pay cut. So this was on a Friday and I had to let them know on the Monday if I wanted it or not. Right. Flew home the Friday because it was actually my birthday. So I came back to the coast, uh, had a little party, met up with my friends and on the plane I was thinking in the interview they asked, you know, where do you see yourself in five years? And my response in the interview was I'll own my own PR company. Walked out, sat on the plane, had a wine, went, yeah, let's not wait five years. <laughs> went back, resigned the Monday, two weeks notice, came back. So what was that like then? You take a chance like that and back yourself. Nervous when it first started? I mean, tell us about that. Um, I don't think I was nervous because during that time when I really didn't have that much to do, sort of in that role, I was researching a lot about what was happening on the Gold Coast and I really think, you know, back then, even though it was only like three, four years ago, the Gold Coast was a little bit behind Sydney and Melbourne, but it's so... It was so important to be on the pulse and to be one of the first people here to start it. And I think, you know, now over time people are really seeing how value adding PR can be when back then people didn't. Okay. Mm. So what's been some of the highlights then of things that you've done or the job or your career so far? I think the first, you know, major highlight, I guess, is when I sent out my first invoice on company letterhead. <laughs> like, you know, that's a pretty cool thing, yeah. like when you have your own company and I think, you know, the first time I hired someone and put them on the payroll, you know, all of those firsts are exciting. Your first, like, art gallery launch or the first gig you put on for a musician or, you know, I've had some international clients. I had um, an American driver because I do motorsport and it's every day is a highlight. Okay. So what advice do you have for other people out there that are thinking about maybe following in footsteps like you or starting their own company? Maybe not PR, but getting out there on their own. What would you say? The things you've learnt? Um, I think you need to really think about if it's what you want in terms of your whole life being revolved around it for a certain period of time, meaning like you need to dedicate your all, your, all your time, all your energy, I think, to really establishing a good company at the beginning. And also just the importance of networking. No matter what company it is, no matter what industry, any person you could meet walking down the street, you know, you could have a good alignment with or energy and it's all about synergies for the future. So all right. well, I'm asking people <laughs> I love asking people about like chasing the ultimate dream or yeah. living it. I guess you are with your passion with your company, but what would be the ultimate if you could live it? Where would you like to see your company go and yourself personally? My ultimate dream with the company or my ultimate dream as a whole? What about both? Okay, the ultimate dream with the company is I want to have heads of different divisions and for that to branch, you know, ideally interstate and globally. Yeah. And then to, I'll just oversee it and they'll be head of sport, head of entertainment, head of 
lifestyle, like I have a winery and things like that, and then have someone head each division. And then for me, globally, yeah. it would be to just go, travel, turn the cell phone off, turn the emails off, just go live in Peru for a while and... Whoa, yeah, big change. Yeah. So I left my heart there when I travelled when I was younger, so that's a long-term goal. All right. Well, then tell us about the company itself because it's... What is it called again? It's called Ellipsis PR. What does it mean? It means the three little dots when you're writing a sentence and you've got dot, 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 the unspoken word pretty much. It's fascinating. I reckon a lot of people out there do the old dot, dot, dot. I do. Yes. I, knew, I knew nothing about what it meant. Yeah. No, I think a lot of people do it. So that's the name of the company. And initially when I started, it was art and meaning visual art, music and sport. Yeah. And now I'm sort of doing a bit of everything. I just uh, was in Sydney last week launching a new skincare range that's huge in America to Australia. And I just signed a new winery in the Hunter Valley, which is amazing, Echo Ridge. They have the most beautiful wines. Handy for the weekends for you to slip a few bottles your way? It is. It's okay, very it's handy. And they make olive oil as well, which is good because I like cooking. And then, you know, everything's different. There's, you know, visual artists and skateboarders and musicians all combined. And then there's surfers and there's V8 races and there's a resort up north that I look after. So the best thing about my job is I can choose who I work with and I have complete creative freedom. Well, that's awesome. Well, great to have a quick chat with you on the Guardian. All the best with it. Yes. Thank you very much for having me. Good luck. You're welcome. Ta.